Stay tuned for Channel 7 News straight after Green Fingers. But right now, I'm going to put these little Green Fingers to work. You ready, kids? Watch this. Little squeeze. Look at that. By planting a wide range of different edibles, the kids will be encouraged to try new tastes and flavours, and their level of interest in productive gardening will grow. They will also have regular, more manageable crops. Who likes tomatoes? Me! I love spices. Spices. Do you like chilies? Yes. What's your favourite chili? Um, chocolate jalapeno. Chocolate jalapeno. There's one thing I learned last week, it's that mulch can sometimes come in bales, and the Green Life Soil Company has been good enough to give us this lot. One thing I know about Daz is that he does love to mulch. I'm pretty sure the kids and I can handle this one. Of course we can! The main feature of pea straw is that it has residual nitrogen and conserves water. It's also very easy to apply and not too heavy to cart around. Taswan trees carry an awesome range of fruiting plants and Joe has dropped me off a tasty little selection of trees that will give the school fresh fruit for much of the year. But the soil here in their mini orchard is no good. However, by the time we're finished, it'll be fantastic. We're digging a nice wide hole and adding heaps of biowise soil conditioner plus sand remedy and blood and bone. This will give the soil the capacity to sustain strong growth and huge crops of fruit, all without excess watering. You feed the soil and your fruit trees will feed you. While Daz and the kids are finishing off planting, Ethan and I have been going around and putting in a couple of scoops of sea salt planting gel. This helps minimise the transplant shock. What does it smell like? Yuck. It smells yucky, oh, but it's good for the plants. Let's do the kids have done an awesome job with the pea store and the veggie beds. Because they had a good teacher, Daz. Oh, clearly. But now it's time to mulch the fruit trees and we're going to use this. Which is? Well, it used to be a great big mulberry tree. School had to get it cut down, but they put it through a mulcher and now we're putting it back into the fruit trees. That's recycling. It definitely is. I think I might leave this one to you, mate. Well, there's something different. Does your school need a veggie garden? For a veggie patch built and installed by the Green Fingers team? That's us. Me? Us. In 25 words or less, can you tell us why your school would benefit from having an edible garden? For all the information, visit our website.